Tigers. A very, very good evening to you. It is me, Scotty McClure, just thought I'd pop up, say a quick hi, Tuesday evening, nothing gets past me, of course, and I thought we'll see who's about and have a wee chit-chat with everybody live on TikTok Live. You can't beat it. So a nice live stream. Come and join me. Let me know what you're up to, of course. Give us all your chat, and we will see what is what. Always lovely to be with you. I am Scotty McClure. I'm the Scotty McClure. Quite a lot of people ask, though, are you the actual Scotty McClure? Yes, I am actually he, and we're live on TikTok just for ye. Do you see what I just did there? A little bit of old Yorkshire chats. <laughs> How good is that? Fantastic. Right, there we are. I'm just checking that everything's all right here. I'm new, says Michael. Good, not at all. Lovely to have you with us. Good evening, Sir McClure. Robert Scrimger, how lovely to have you with us, and Dinky Doo. You know, these streams are an absolute surprise, a joy, and a privilege. That's all I can say about it. I don't know what you can say about it. Wonderful to have you with us, Dinky Doo, says Kieran. Dinky Doo, Kieran, lovely to have you with us. Guys, as soon as you're on, follow me right away. Very, very important. We're desperately short of followers. We've got viewers coming out of our ears. Fantastic. Everybody's watching, but we need to get everybody following as soon as they come on. Just passing through some lives. Hope you're having an amazing night, Jamie. Absolutely, but don't feel you have to pass through because this will be an absolutely amazing live. And you can stay with us as long as you like. Please follow as soon as you come on. Jolly boy, dinky do Scotty. Do you watch the politicians debate? I didn't get to see it, Robert. I had some work I was doing, but I will watch it. I'm quite sure I'll get it on the catch-up, and I can see what is what. Follow me as soon as you're on, guys. Dinky-doo. Hey, Scotty, it's a Scott. Scott, lovely to have you with us. Tell 10 to tell 10. Can I go live with you, says stranger? I don't know. What's your opinion on the name Shirley? Uh, well, it's not one I would choose for myself, but uh, it sounds a very interesting name. Do we know the background? to it. So do you know how fluoride affects, effects the brain? I think you mean affects. Uh, there we are, dinky do. Will you vote for the Alba Party, says Scott? Scott, we don't ask people. I mean, I'm apolitical, so uh, I vote for what's best for the country. Hi, Scotty, dinky do. A special dinky do for Ireland. Hello, Ireland. Scotty, happy birthday. Dinky do, happy birthday, moi. So there we are. Now, what have we got here? How was your day? My day was absolutely outstanding. Thank you very much for joining us. What political party do you support? I've just said, Ryan, I'm apolitical. You'll say, evening, Scotty, dinky do. It's interesting. It's a sort of feature of our TikTok lives. People are joining us all the time. So when you've just answered a question, the next person might well answer it, you know, or you've just answered one, the next person might well ask the same one. So there we go. And um, do you think, uh, what do we got here? Chick, we can't say things like that. And you should know that. So off you pop. There we go. Um, so who are you voting for? Well, Space Bar, we don't discuss that. That's somebody's personal business. You see, that's nothing to do with anybody else. Can everybody follow me, please? Very, very important. Who's the man in the photo to the left of you? I think that's me, isn't it? Yes. Yes, that's me. So there we go. Fantastic. Now, uh, good evening, Scotty. You're looking dapper, says Crab Fishing. I thank you. Crab Fishing, very, very much appreciated. So there we are. Do come and join us. Now, um, lots of interesting things happening. So I hope you'll let me know how lockdown's going for you. Remember, guys, to follow me when you come on. Follow me. Very important. We're very short on followers, but we're very big on viewers. So if everybody watching, last night we had 11,000 viewers, and we only got, I think, a couple of hundred followers. That's not good enough. So there you are. Please do follow me. Dinky do. I'm also voting for the apolitical party, says the happy school. 
<laughs> Very good heavy squirrel, you're a wee bit of a funster, I can tell. Hello from Armagh, Scotty, Pablo, always lovely to have you with us from Armagh, and uh, from the north of Ireland there. Fantastic. So there we go. Uh, Scotty, do you think uh, Prince Charles could rule as regent if the Queen was unwell, like George the Fourth? Uh, so there you are. Yes, I mean, I'm quite sure he could rule as regent, uh, you know, look after the shop. But the Queen is very, very well, as far as I know and understand, and approaching her 95th birthday uh, in... Uh, I think probably a couple of weeks, that sort of thing. Hello from Stirling, Scotty. Hello, Rory. I remember starting the radio station for you in Stirling 30 years ago. John says, hello from Newton Mills, Scotty. Ooh, that's a nice part of the world. So there we are, dinky do. Emily, I think you should just get yourself a wave. You're in completely the wrong stream for you. So there, so we'll just block Emily. Half wit. There we go. Gone. Now, what have we got here? What's your opinion on the monarchy? Well, the monarchy is absolutely outstanding. And Scotland seeking independence, obviously, it needs to make sure it secures the monarch as the head of state. Very, very important. Otherwise, we won't get independence. Can you follow me, guys? Please follow me. Very, very important. As soon as you come on, follow Scotty McClure. Also, if you tap the little Instagram sign beside my profile, you'll see you can link directly to the Scotty McClure YouTube channel. Go on and subscribe. Yes, so the monarchy is absolutely vital because the monarchy is the curator and custodian of the crown and the crown is our symbol of authority there we are a very scottish symbol uh, crab says go on please tell me the two truths and a lie has been satisfied i think we're on to week three guys the two truths and a lie were one i used to own a shopping center the whole thing no board no directors just Scotty McClure as the ultimate owner of a shopping centre. One. Two, I once conducted one of the world's greatest orchestras in front of 20,000 people at the Manchester Arena. Three, when an aircraft took off, the pilot had to re-trim it because of my 18 stone of solid muscle. He had to retrim the whole aircraft because he had Scotty McClure in it. How are you, says Joe? Dinky do, Joe. There we are. Do you play golf, Scotty? I don't, Phil. I do apologize. I don't know the first thing about it. <laughs> Everybody follow us, please. Um, it's British, says Sven. Well, no, it's United Kingdom at the moment, but it's very much a Scottish institution. There we are. Now, who have we got? Follow us when you come on, guys. The vampire wants a shout out, of course. Scotty, do you know what point Fahrenheit and Celsius intersect? Ooh, Robert, that's a very interesting one. I think you've got me there. When would Fahrenheit and Celsius intersect? Would they intersect at 32 degrees? Something like that. I don't know. Do tell me. Kareem has joined us and sent me a TikTok. Guys, thank you so much for sending me all these lovely TikToks and gifts and sun cream and TikToks and all that diamonds. It's not the statements. It's the results I'm looking for. All the results. Oh, we'll get you them crab fishing. Scotty, how do you keep so fit and young looking? Ah, Johnny boy, I am actually very young. I've just had a tough life. So there we go. Good evening, Scotty. You are such a typical English person. Where are you from, Willie? And what's your definition of an English person? I might speak English, but that's about it, really. So happy to see you tonight. I was pleased to see you were on live tonight. Ah, Steve James, have you set your notifications? Guys, get yourselves on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel.
It's 40, Scotty. You are very close. I wasn't that close, Robert. I was eight degrees out. I said 32. I do apologize. Do broadcasters get trained to avoid saying um and um? Uh, most people say it, not you. I'll tell you, no, they don't. I would love to get stuck into properly training some of the broadcasters on the BBC and commercial television because they start everything with well. Just go straight in. You know, we cross over to talk to our correspondent, John McQuackle. Good evening, John. What do you think's happening there tonight? Well, Mary, I can, you know, we don't need well, Mary. John, what do you think's happening there tonight? What's happening is that the president has said, straight in there, no need for well. Everybody follow the host, please. I'm from the Netherlands. Ah, Willie. Well, you know I am not an English person. I'm a Scottish person. So, there you go. Come in to hus, wiltje en kuppete hebben. Put on mein klumpen. I heard you're the strongest person on earth. Very, very powerful. Muscles. Can you speak Gaelic, says John Douglas. Kamara ha, oh, John. How are you, maha? <laughs> Falchi, Falchi. Kida mili Falchi. Don TikTok. Agus. Scotchach McClue. <laughs> there we are. Who are you voting for? You never ask anybody who they're voting for, Rachel. Uh, did you see the leaders tonight? I missed it, Kareem. Uh, no, I haven't seen it, Kareem. I was working, but I will have a look at the catch up. Scotty, great to go back to the old radio show on Friday nights. That was a great laugh. Yes, Johnny boy, we did like it. Do you remember Looney's Night? <laughs> I love your accent, says Finn. I thank you, Finn. Wow. You know Dutch? Yeah, yeah. Uh, fit like for the Granite City, Scotty. Ah, fit like JD. And Dicky do for your dues. Yeah, have you had a softer arrowy the day? Well, you got another wee dug, says Greg. I think not at the moment, Greg. Very, very difficult to replace perfection that last wee dog was just perfect watch him on the tiktok videos and you'll see what i mean he was just a generous spirit do you like football i like it joe i just don't know anything about it <laughs> sorry i called you english scotland is way better shotland yeah so there we are <laughs> and uh i uh Upstanda, upstanda at seven o'clock. Yeah? Uh, so there we go. Now, what do we got here? What's the bobbly writing that um, deaf people read? Oh, you're trying to catch me out there, were you? You were thinking I might say Braille, but I didn't. I just did. See what I did there? Does anyone want to play Minecraft with me? I would think billions, Erin, would want to play Minecraft with you. I um, play Fortnite, but only once a week. There we are. Ah, you're picking, Sir JD. You do the picking. Good, good. Uh, good evening from South Africa, says Billabong. Billabong, welcome from South Africa. Are you having something on the bray tonight? So there we are. What have we got? Night, Scotty. I've got a three-hour cricket training session tomorrow for the South time in quite a while. Harrison, I hope you hit a six. There we are. Hey, brother, good to see you again. Sorry about the late night. I'm so tired. Gavan, if you're tired, my dear fellow, you need to sleep. Do not give it a thought. This is just a quick pop-up. Guys, can you all follow me, please? We get thousands of viewers, but only some follow. Everyone follow. We are on the move here. We are building. And also, click the little Instagram sign. You'll see the link to the YouTube channel. Go on and subscribe and tap the bell and... Uh, 
have a look at the YouTubes. I've uploaded stacks of stuff. There we are. Dinky Doo, please follow me. A well-known character has refused the COVID vaccine. Wow. I wonder why. So there we are. Um, her name is Mrs. Doubt Faisal. OMG TikTok won't let me comment on people's lives. Abby, why not? So there you go. You're right, buddy. Absolutely user 182. So there we go. And uh, Jamie, you know you could never, ever, ever talk about a live case. So uh, take that down, please. Uh, if the harbour master at bowling was on duty at Suez, a very different outcome. Well, the Scots have always known what they were doing. It was a Scot that was the British commissioner to the Suez Canal, Sir Ian Malcolm from Argyle. What about that? And then, of course, Nasser overran the Suez Canal offices and nationalized it, took it all into Egypt's name in 1956. Evening, the Duke of Dundee. Oh, that's lovely. That caused the Suez crisis, which very sadly cost Anthony Eden his job. And that was not fair. Uh, Harold Macmillan stabbed him in the back. Uh, Scotty, you're a legend, mate. Doogie dinky do. Uh, legends. <laughs> I thank you guys. Very much appreciated. I will miss out on seeing your live videos. Yes, I know, Gavin, it's great to actually be there, but I will upload them to YouTube afterwards, and then you can watch them, you'll see. So there we are. Aha! No brying tonight says Billabong. Ah, oh, Billabong, I'm sorry to hear that. I would have liked some rice and a little bit of uh, maybe some pepperoni. What do you put on your bray? Uh, have you ever been to Cockermouth? I know it like the back of my hand. So there you are. I've been to uh, Wordsworth's Cottage for a reading of poetry by Norman Nicholson. That wonderful, wonderful Cumbrian poet from uh, Millam. Did you know Norman? Lovely man. Good evening. How are you tonight, lads? Absolutely. Scotty, I'm excited about the elections. I'm sad, says Kareem. So there, you're excited about the elections and you're sad. Kareem, why are you sad? We don't want you sad. Hi, Scotty. So, uh, how are you this evening? Dinky do Charlie. Wonderful. Uh, yes. Someone, oh, right, Gavan, I see. Uh, Scotty, it's Heno. How are we doing this evening? We are Dinky do. Can you shout me out, says Luke? I can. Can you say I'm cool, says football? Of course I can. Yes, you're very cool. Guys, share the video. Follow me, follow me, follow me, and subscribe to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Scotty, you've mellowed in your mature years. No, Johnny boy, haven't mellowed at all. What you're not realizing, we don't have the phones. Have you got it? Scotty, can you remember Anthony Eden? Was he Lord Avon by any chance? Robert Scrimger, he was Lord Avon. And he was Churchill's deputy. He was the Foreign Secretary. Um, during the war, he was Churchill's deputy. He carried Churchill. He sadly wasn't very well. He had um, um, tummy problems and things like that. But uh, he was a, a delightful. I've never seen anybody dress so beautifully. And his hat was known as an Anthony Eden. So there you are. He had a big, uh, broad-brimmed hat, but Churchill would not shift over. He hung on to power for dear life till he was 80, and then he finally stepped aside to let Anthony have a shot in 1955. A year later, Anthony had gone because Harold Macmillan had backed the war in Suez, and they'd sent in the troops, and then he blamed Eden for it and uh, stabbed him in the back, and Macmillan took over as prime minister, and poor Anthony was out after having carried the country. Wonderful foreign secretary, 
but a beautiful, beautiful dresser. <laughs> Hello from Tenabruch, says Tony. Hello, Tenabruch, the house on the hill. Dinky do, what's your favourite drink? Scottish water. Oh, I do love it. It's fantastic. Guys, have you followed me? Please follow if you're watching. Uh, so there we are. I see you're enjoying the sky juice. Oh, yes, Bella Ball. So there you are. Have you ever be, says Greg? Not sure what you mean. I'd like to see you play with a ball of wool. Yes, well, I'd, uh, my kitten used to do it uh, in the interlude on the early days of television. <laughs> what did you have for dinner this evening? Dinner was outstanding. I had a gammon steak and a fried egg. So there we are. And it was absolutely beautiful. Do you like English people? I love, love English people. So there you are. Now, your live streams cheer me up and bad days, Scotty. Well, I hope we don't have too many bad days, but I like that you get cheer from the live stream. Please follow me, guys. Churchill was a racist. Tony, he was more than that, though. Have you put everything in context, right? So there we are. We're getting a bit obsessed with all this racist thing. My feeling is you can't have racism if you only have one race. And if we keep trying to define it, then all you're doing is underlining it. So you should be like we are on Scotty McClure's TikTok. And uh, Scotty McClure has always been ahead of his time. If you look at me on television, 25 years ago, I get asked by Nikki Campbell, what about racists? I said, we don't like racists. That anyone could be perceived as being different because of the color of our skin. No, we won't tolerate racism. That's McClue speaking 25 years ago. So there you are. So I'm afraid that you'll find that there's always been. And any anybody flagging up differences, regardless of their race, creed, or color, could be accused of racism. Do you see what I mean? So the trick is not to flag it up. Yes, there we are. And then you will uh, see more acceptance. Do you worry your title will be taken from you? Silly question, I know. My title, First Lord of the Internet. Never, right? Because you can't be another fuss lord of the internet because I've been it. The world's top broadcaster, well, that's up to you if you think anybody broadcasts better than Scotty McClue. And the world's most humble man, if you could meet anybody more humble than me, then, you know. So I never, ever, ever worry about that. Ah, nice, says Jason. Scotty, you give out to, a shout to Catherine. She's feeling a bit down tonight. I can grant. Catherine Dinky Do. So there we are. I love iced tea on a hot day. Yes. So there we are. Very funny. Have you been in touch with the Colin character who used to call you on Scott FM? Too funny. I haven't, Greg, but we did love when he came on. I do remember it well. Guys, can you all follow me, please? There we are. Fantastic. Absolutely. Yes, follow Scotty McClue. Um, I can tell you anything about Churchill, Samantha. There we are. Absolutely intimate knowledge of the man. You know, because I knew people that knew him. He had a, a he had a nasty side to him as well, Winston Churchill, a, a catty side. But uh, he was very quick with the language. He was very funny. I remember there were two rather portly people, what, he being one of them, and another one uh, in a narrow corridor, and uh, they were going to the loo in the House of Commons. And um, Churchill said, um, when he's walking around, he said, well, I don't think we're going to get past, so one of us is going to have to give way. And the other politician rather unwisely said, I never give way to fools, Winston. And Churchill bowed very low and he said, I always do. 
Now that's clever. There we go. I was looking into your videos. I'm so proud of you, brother. You're a true friend. Gavin, I thank you very much. Do enjoy the videos. There's lots on the YouTube channel. Click onto the little Instagram beside my profile on here and it'll take you direct to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. And if you can subscribe and hit the bell, then you'll know when I go live on YouTube. I went live on YouTube last night. Popped up to see you. All right, mate. Hello, Scotty. Uh, there we are. In your view, Scotty, who was the greatest military leader? Alexander, Caesar, or Napoleon? I have a job choosing from all of these, Robert, because my mind is going to even greater military leaders, you know? And, and there's no doubt that the Duke of Wellington, uh, Arthur Wellesley, was an, was, was an outstanding um, leader. And of course, Churchill's own ancestor, uh, Marlborough, at the Battle of Blenheim and Malplaquet. You know, I mean, he was quite an outstanding commander. But I think of um, Montgomery was good. Uh, a great military man who I, 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 I've met was Sir Gordon Macmillan of Macmillan of Knapp. An Argyll and Sutherland Highlander general, and uh, he he was an, an exceptional man as well. First and Second World War. So you know we've got many many wonderful Scottish leaders, and um, his ADC at one point was Colin Mitchell, who went on to become he got the Subriquet Mad Mitch when he went into Aden in 1967 and 68 and took Crater back just before the British withdrew from Aden. That was a Labour government. That was Dennis Healy. So there we are. But Colin Mitchell was an outstanding commanding officer. So there we are. Uh, in your hat, 25 years. We all look different on the outside. We're all the same on the inside. It's what's in the heart. Well, Gavan, I don't know that we're all the same on the inside. Man looketh on the outside. God looketh on the heart. Yes. So there are the things that are seen are transient. The things that are unseen are eternal. You see? So there you are. Tell me what you think about that. Can you be my history teacher, please? That would be an absolute privilege, Connie. If I had a star for every time you lighten up my day, I'd be holding up a galaxy. Jung, what a lovely, beautiful thing to say. I thank you. Can everybody follow me, please, guys? All right, respect for you, because you're Scottish. So Scottish Jack. Thanks, Scottish Jack. Nobody broadcasts better than Scotty McClue. I first heard this man as a boy on Scott FM. I wasn't a boy on Scott FM, Robert. Oh, you were, I see. Very kind of you, I thank you. I love your accent, says Logan. Thank you, Logan. Guys, can everybody follow us, please, and share the lives? So there we are, the Churchill and Sure Caravans. Jonesy, very, very good. Yes, we like that. Dinky do, Scotty. Eh? Uh, so there we are, Skyne. You need to go and grow up, have a serious think about where your head is. Think, is that really the level you want to operate at for the rest of your life? And apologize to everybody on here for being a simp. There we are. Churchill was a racist. Well, we got that. Yes, I mean, I, I think... There are a lot of races around by today's standards in those days, you see. So there you are. But, I mean, you can say that about anybody. Scotty, could you send me your bank details? I want to make a donation. Ah, oh, Johnny boy, trying to catch me out. If you really wanted to make a donation, you go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and you click the GoFundMe or the PayPal. There we are. Can you say hi to Kissy? Dinky do. Uh, Mr. Astor to, to, to Churchill. Uh, Mrs. Astor, Lady Astor, it would be. It wouldn't be Mrs. Astor, it would be Lady Astor to Winston Churchill. Mr. Churchill, if you were my husband 
how to put poison in your tea? Churchill's answer, Robert, would of course have been, if you were my wife, madam, I would drink it. <laughs> oh, awesome. I'm happy to do that for you. I thank you, Gavan. There we are. Tsar Nicholas II, Nicky. Yes, a very, very nice man. Should never have had the fate that he had. You know, these cowards murdering people in cold blood for no reason. Russia owes Tsar Nicholas a big apology. There we are. Churchill to Astor. Madam, if you were my husband, I'd drink it. <laughs> so there we go. Rommel. Yes, Rommel was an outstanding commander. There's no doubt about that. Was Napoleon a war criminal? Well, they made him into a war criminal. Because what you must do is brief against your enemy. So there we are. <laughs> and uh, of course, he died on, was it St. Helena? He died on. So there we are. I think so. He was a Corsican, wasn't he? Henry VIII was a legend. Yes, but uh, a lot of domestic abuse. Uh, I would say in your list of Scottish TikTok legends, Scottish Jack, I thank you. Uh, there we are. Biscuit 96. Thoughts on KKK. I don't know him. So there we are. Uh, we love who we got here. Wellington. Wellington was a great defensive commander, but wouldn't have won Waterloo without the Prussians. Well, Robert Stimger, the UK would never have won World War II without all the um, empire forces from India and Africa and Canada, you know, and uh, all that Poland, everywhere. There we go. What kind of halfway idiot is Sponge? Sponge, when are you going to grow up? Who talks like that? Certainly nobody on here. There we are. And uh, who have we got here? Have you been on Still Game? No, I haven't. Thanks for sending through lots of TikToks and diamonds, guys. There we are. It's cold on my boat. I tried to make a fire, but it won't light. I guess you can't have your kayak and heat it. Gil, very good. You got there in the end. <laughs> So there we are. Now, who have we got? Fancy Nancy telling lies we can do without you. Bye. We spam account there. That's all gone. Lovely, lovely. No place on here for that rubbish. Uh, what do you know about the Scottish Army as a unit? Do you mean today, present day? We've got about, um, what have we got? Five battalions. Is that right? Uh, there we are. Scotty, you're my legend, my son. We used to have a lot of regiments. Think about the regiments. Think about the Sutherland Highlanders, the old 93rd. Think about the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders. Think about the King's own Scottish borderers. Think about the Cameronians. Think about the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders. Think about the uh, Royal Scots Fusiliers. Think about the Highland Light Infantry. Think about the Royal Highland Fusiliers. Think about the Seaforth Highlanders. Think about the Black Watch. Think about the Lovett Scouts. Think about the SAS. There we are. Colonel Stirling. All these sort of things. Do you see what I mean? And that's just for starters. Think about the Royal Scots. There we are. What about all that, guys? My grandma is an... Oh, right. Yeah, we got that one, yeah. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Greetings. Are you into the football? No. Uh, you'll have to win the war to write the history books. Or, Seanster, you can be a historical revisionist, like we're getting at the moment with the um, people who are uh, going on about pulling down statues. What's your favourite car from the TV show The Persuaders? Uh, the early Range Rover, I mean. You'll see... Um, Roger Moore 
and Tony Carter sitting in a, 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 a Series 1 Range Rover, right? Mark 1 Range Rover. And uh, they're heading for a farm gate. And um, think of it, Roger's driving. And Tony Carter says to him, uh, do you want me to open the gate? And he just smashes straight through. He goes, you don't want me to open the gate. <laughs> so my favorite car from the Persuaders is the, the Range Rover, which was just new at the time. Fantastic car. And you could, in theory, hose that car out. It was all vinyl inside. The Shinty, the Kamenach Cup. There we go. Uh, Scotty, was Century 105 a success? Uh, it was a huge success, and it got bought out for a fortune. There we are. Unfortunately, they didn't buy Scotty McClure at the same time. They wanted to put their own people in, and I was replaced by Jeremy Kyle. So there you are. Scotty, um, do you know if it's illegal to have animal circuses? I don't know, Robert, but it's good that we don't have. I went to the circus uh, recently, and it was outstanding. There wasn't an animal anywhere near it. What do you think of Northern Ireland? I love it. The Giant's Causeway. Fantastic. So there we are. Uh, Scotty, what was your first car? Mine was an Opel Cadet. I remember the Opel Cadet. Yes, was that not similar to a Vauxhall? Uh, was it a Vauxhall Viva? The last Opel Cadet. There was, I think it was, um, I think the Opel, Opel is General Motors, am I right? And um, the Opel Cadet, very nice car. My first car was a 1952 Austin Somerset in Dove Grey. Column change, bench seat, 1200 engine, overhead cams. Very nice. What was it Arthur Daly used to drive, the Jaguar? Um, that was a Series 2 XJ6. There you are. Wonderful stuff. Might have been the Vanden Pla. Uh, what's your favorite Scottish TV show? I love Take the High Road. I've been watching reruns of it. Oh, and I was so, so associated with Scottish television. Absolutely incredible. Lovely, happy years at Scottish television. New every day. It's terrible that uh, lions are used in circuses. They belong in a zoo. Well, no, they belong in the jungle. And my old friend was out in Kenya, and he got invited by the game warden for Sunday lunch. And when he got out of the car, there was a lion standing, staring at them. And he said to his wife, he said, get the children back in the car, put the girls back in the car very, very slowly, very slowly. There's a lion. And then the game warden came to the veranda and he went, Sandy! And the old lion turned and ran straight into the veranda. And he waved them in. He said, come on in. And they went in the Chevette, Vauxhall Chevette token fairy, top man. So uh, he waved them in. And he said, don't worry about Sandy. This is old Sandy Jack. You just give him a, a pat on the head. And he was patting this old lion's mane. And Jack looked and he said, I don't think I'll be patting old Sandy on the head. Huge big line. Probably had him from a cub, you see. Maybe he'd been abandoned by the mother or something like that. Your favourite Bond girl? Oh, was Joanna Lumley. Was a Bond girl, wasn't she? She was absolutely outstanding. Who else had we got? So many, so many. Um, Halle Berry. Another outstanding Bond girl. Just so many of them. There we are. And of course, um, do you remember the, the wonderful, uh, oh, oh my goodness. What was her name? It'll come, it'll come back to me. Yes, it'll come back to me. My friend, why is it TikTok? Why are you on TikTok? Scotty, were you a rag and bone man? I look like a rag and bone man. I used to blow my trumpet. <laughs> they never, have you noticed shouters? 
Um, made myself cough now. Street shouters, you can never understand a word they were saying. I didn't know what the Coleman used to shout. He used to go, Whoa! and it was Cole he was shouting. <laughs> so there we are. Uh, where is your favourite part of Britain? All of it. Uh, what gives you the right, says Kevin? Everybody gives me the right. The people of the world give me the right. There we are. Dinky do. Thanks, Ellie. Scotty, just want to thank you. I've had a bad day. You've made my day 100,000 times better. So there we are. Thank you so much, Breakfast. Uh, why has Loch Lomond got a huge shopping centre on the shore? I think so people can buy things. There we are. Do you know why kangaroos are called kangaroos? Uh, no, I don't know why they're called kangaroos. Or even ruse. Absolutely. What's your favourite score where we've done that one? Seemingly goes back to Captain Cook. And he asked an aborigine. Ah, right. I managed to get out of the jungle. Gibbs Hill. We love Gibbs Hill. My mother used to uh, go to Gibbs Hill to visit people. Joanna Lumley is still fabulous. She is outstanding. And she's a lovely, lovely person as well. Did you like the Crankies? I did. I did, Doug and Feeney. I thought they were great. I worked with them at Border Television. So there we are. Scotty, you're boating now, sir. Uh, not boating at the moment, but, but uh, once the season comes in. So there we are. Yes, they belong in the wild. Have you ever been to Port Glasgow? I know Port Glasgow like the back of my hand. The Star Hotel, the Clunbray, the Clunbray Roadhouse. How fantastic is that? The old Tune Hall. There we go. Fantastic. Now, who we got here? I'm from Zimbabwe. Do you remember when it was Rhodesia? Yes, I do. I remember very much. And um, the Duke of Montrose of the day, the father of the present Duke of Montrose, was out in Rhodesia. And uh, also Ian Smith. I remember Ian Smith. I remember the Tiger Talks with Harold Wilson. I remember they wanted to declare... Um, Unilateral independence. There are wallabies at Loch Lomond, yes. I was once talking about, somebody was asking me about a creature that jumped, and I said, wallaby. This guy said, well, of a whiskey, please. <laughs> Scotty, how's your day been? Fantastic. Uh, I'm suggesting my nostalgia, Blake 7. Hello from Germany, from Bavaria, from the Bavarian Motorwerken, BMW. Guys, I'm going to have to jog, I'm going to have to just jog on. We are out of time. Follow me, please. Get on to the Scotty McClue YouTube channel. Subscribe, hit the bell, because um, we're going to be doing a lot of work very soon. Yes, Ellie, absolutely. I shall sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita sein. Au revoir. And a cheery. Oh, lovely being with you. A privilege and a pleasure. Stay safe, stay fabulous, have a great good night, and uh, join us as soon as we pop up. Set your notifications for Scotty McClure. I love your hat. I thank you. TTV, as we say in the best of circles every day, dinky-doo, and ta-ra-las!